Today's Bible study is titled Paul Withstood Peter to the Face. Given what we learned in yesterday's summary of the Acts 15 Jerusalem Council, we now see Paul continue to add to the historical record in his case for grace regarding his subsequent interaction with the Apostle Peter in Antioch. But when Peter was come to Antioch, I withstood him to the face, because he was to be blamed. For before that certain came from James, he did eat with the Gentiles, but when they were come, he withdrew and separated himself, fearing them which were of the circumcision. And the other Jews dissembled likewise with him, insomuch that Barnabas also was carried away with their dissimulation. But when I saw that they walked not uprightly according to the truth of the gospel, I said unto Peter before them all, If thou, being a Jew, livest after the manner of Gentiles, and not as do the Jews, why compellest thou the Gentiles to live as do the Jews? Galatians 2 verses 11 to 14 KJV Some quick observations about this follow-up record of Paul's interaction with Peter are as follows. Note that, contrary to the accord reached in Jerusalem we find that shortly thereafter the Apostle Peter was come to Antioch, perhaps in less than a year's time after the Jerusalem Council. So, instead of staying in Jerusalem and going unto the circumcision and following the last orders of Christ to be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and in Samaria, Acts 1 verse 8, Peter was no longer following this prescribed order of witnessing to Judah and Israel. And though some might say he was going unto the uttermost part of the earth, that would not be correct per the accord reached at the Jerusalem Council. And the student of the word will ask why? We also note that now, rather than following the dietary aspects of the Mosaic law, Peter was found to eat with the Gentiles. And the student of the word will ask why? Stranger yet regarding Peter, when certain came from James he withdrew and separated himself, fearing them which were of the circumcision. And following Peter's lead, even Barnabas and other Jews dissembled likewise with him. Note, dissimulation is the assuming of a false or counterfeit appearance which conceals the real opinions or purpose. And the student of the word will ask why? And while we are asking questions, just look at Paul's reaction to Peter's behavior in the matter of eating with Gentiles or not as he writes but when I saw that they walked not uprightly according to the truth of the gospel, I said unto Peter before them all, If thou, being a Jew, livest after the manner of Gentiles, and not as do the Jews, why compellest thou the Gentiles to live as do the Jews? So, Paul accused the apostle Peter before them all. Now remember, Peter is the Lord-appointed leader of the Twelve per Matthew 16 verses 17 to 19. Yet Paul accused Peter and those that followed his example, saying they walked not uprightly according to the truth of the gospel and Paul withstood him to the face, because he was to be blamed. And the student of the word will ask why? Finally, Paul observes that prior to the entry of them, which were of the circumcision, Peter was only too happy to eat with Gentiles. This showed that he had apparently embraced a dispensational change regarding the continued applicability of the Mosaic law concerning Judah and Israel and, apparently, himself. And this is strange, for if the new covenant were still being preached as part the gospel of the kingdom, would not Peter have been still seeking to live in accordance with the law, as promised, Jeremiah 31 verses 31 to 34. He also asks of Peter, If thou, being a Jew, livest after the manner of Gentiles, and not as do the Jews, why compellest thou the Gentiles to live as do the Jews? And the student of the word will ask why? Believer, be a student of the word and ask why. If you do and you put together Paul's case for grace here in Galatians, you will realize that Peter had realized that Israel had been concluded in unbelief and that a dispensational changing of the guard had occurred. Thank you for listening to this Bible study today.